Hey YouTube, it's Tristan here. Um, I just thought I'd make this quick video uh, just to show a project I've been working on and some of the thinking um, around this project. Um, my mum had an e-bike um, that had a failed battery um, and we're looking at getting another battery to replace the one it had and fit in its existing case. Um, this is the battery here. Um, it's uh, eight amp hour, uh, 36, 37 volts. Um, and it expanded, you can sort of see it's quite wide now. Um, and it was, um, I think it was getting about six volts uh, fully charged. So it was pretty much dead and, well it was dead, and the bike wouldn't go at all. So I thought, well I've got some Makita batteries here and I thought why not uh, convert them across. I've got uh, some of these terminals that I bought off eBay that are like $15 Australian. Um, and I looked on Thingiverse and you could print things like this. Um, and so I decided if I print some and I put the batteries um, in a 36 volt configuration, because the batteries LXTs are 18 volt, um, would it work? And I'll show you the terminals and then I'll show you whether it worked or not. So these are the terminals that I made. Um, they're off Thingiverse, just had to get um, little bits of metal, so I just used uh, metal strapping and uh, it was pretty easy to cut and fold um, so I did that mounted it to a board um, wired them together so they're in 36 volt configuration rather than the 18 um, LXT um, and then use the plug off the old uh, battery just so it clips straight in just with some terminal connectors uh, it goes up underneath this board um, and now I'll show you a video of how it works. Here we are on the maiden voyage of Zippy e, Zip E Bike Makita Edition. Here dun. we go. Dun, dun. Dun, dun. Dun, dun. We have lights, so we have lights. Film it. Dun, dun. Dun, dun. Okay. This has never been tried before. Here we go, let's see. Zip E-Bike. 